How to WizIQ Basic Training, Lesson 224, the Select Tool, one of my personal favorites. Um, I cannot recommend Select Tool enough. Right up here in the upper left-hand corner, this is a very powerful tool, and you don't know how much you're missing if you haven't been using it. Um, I am almost always using the Freehand Tool or the Select Tool. Anytime I'm not, you know, doing something else, I'm always use, having those. Watch this. First of all, let's highlight that whole group of things. Remember before we looked at the file or the edit button and had choices? Now that I've selected all these things, look what happens. I've got all of these commands available. Now, we won't go into all of those, but um, you should play with them, particularly if you're more graphically oriented. But um, this is a very powerful aspect of being able to right-click and do these things. Uh, right now, I just want to get rid of this stuff. I want a clean screen. So let's... Um, oh, I didn't get much that time. Let's grab these again. Right-click. And I want to cut everything. Remove shape. Now, remember just last lesson we talked about um, the screen capture? and sometimes it doesn't grab something. Well, I need a picture anyway, so let's grab that screen capture that we were supposed to have. It defaulted to the name screen, Take Snapshot. Of course, we could have named it anything. It's going to take a little while to upload. I forget what kind of resolution. It's not a great resolution, as you can see. You will want a different program. But as you can see, it when we uploaded a picture and we've got the Select tool, now we've got a lot of t tools to use. Um, we can use the grip handles and change the aspect ratio. Uh, look, I've got the back key still. I can go back. I can do an equal aspect ratio to change things. I can change the orientation. Say it's a picture. This happens to be a picture. I can do lots of fun things with that. Another thing we talked about before using the select tool, where was our document? Did I throw that away? Must be up here somewhere. There's our PDF. Nope. 100 days draft. Okay. As I said before, with the select tool, I can, any shape, anything that we created, we have additional capabilities of. I can change it here. I can change the color. There's so many things I can do with these. Uh, as I told you, I like to right click or click on something like that to take a peek. My students cannot see that. Let's go to the student's screen right now. That's the same screen for the students. I'm going to click on it. I can see what's written behind. They cannot. The only way they can is if I click and drag it and move it. So that select tool is very powerful stuff. And um, I suggest you just remember to play with it. And Just like all these tools, there's so many things to learn, so many things to experience. Plus, the, the team at WizIQ, the programmers, are constantly tweaking and fixing and adjusting these things. So you're going to find that um, there's going to be some problems over time, and you're, going to, and you're not going to remember how things happen. And this is, this, actually, this video is going to change over time because they will change things. Let's put another box on here and take a look that we have some pretty powerful things we can do. Now, if I go back and grab the Select tool, I have even more capabilities. Look, I can change this color. I can also um, change the outline color. Well, anyway, uh, but here's something cool. Why am I not able to send it backwards? Oh, it's not a picture. If I had two pictures, I could actually send them forward and back to the foreground and background. So that's another nice thing that you can do. I, <laughs> I'm i not the best. I don't know everything, but I like to play with everything. So that's it for the select tool. Remember, select tool and drawing pencil tool, you should be using most. I find those the most functional. And that's it for this lesson. See you next lesson. Bye.